Hello there. I want to quickly, if I can, show how to use your audio WAV files uh, to your advantage in uh, Eclipse. You can't hear the audio here, but um, you can rest assured that there is audio if uh, I could press play and you could hear it. Um, so you've, you've done your file here, you've edited the file, now you're at the end and you want to merge in another file and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find my other file and I'm going to call it file check one so I take that file and I've merged it in Now, as we all know if you go here and you press play on the audio you're not going to hear anything so the question is well how do I make it play at this point forward and the long answer would be you go here to your your menu your folder where your files are at I like to do it through Windows Explorer some prefer to do it uh, through Eclipse but you'll get the point here you have to go here you find the file is called file check as you can see up here and here's the WAV file now remember we merged in this part here which was the file check one and that is over here somewhere you have file check one WAV file actually I moved some files around and I renamed it but if you wanted to make file check one come up you would have to uh, take this file here let me let me reset this real quick I've got it down here at the bottom there's file check one okay so now you have your file check WAV file and you have this one you'd have to rename this one something different and I want to call it file check Z and then you would have to go up here and again take file check one and then call it just file check and that wouldn't work that would work then at that point so now you've got the new WAV file that you renamed that was file check one and now you've called it file check so at that point you can go in here and edit the second part of the transcript the easier way to do that is to just go in here to your job variables at this point and do shift alt v type in wave equals file check one dot wave or, or whatever the wave file is that you uh, just merged in and remember we merged in file check one and call it dot uh, file check one dot wave wave equals file check one dot wave that is the easy way to quickly be able to go to your uh, your next file that's in the same file when you merge something in <clears throat> So let's say, for instance, I'm over here and I'm, I'm editing, say I'm in file check 2. <clears throat> so I have it here. I go to the end. I hit read file. I go find, say, file check 3. Here it is. <clears throat> and I merge that in. Now I can listen to file check two, but when I get to this point, I can go here. I can do Shift Alt V, Wave, wait, equals file check three dot wave. Whatever the name of the wave file is, that is the second file you read in. In this case, it's file check three equals wave dot wave, and here you go. So if you were to be able to listen to the audio, which I can't play here, uh, you would hear that I've got this one here is now being able to play the file check three file because that is what this file was that I merged in. <clears throat> now let's say for instance that you need to extract out something and let's pretend this file was 100 pages long with multiple hearings within it. And let's say you need to extract out this part here. You would uh, highlight what you want, and I'm going to do an Alt W to write a new block, and I'm going to call it <clears throat> F 
file check call it file check 2 underscore 2013 extract so what I've just done is I've extracted a file from a, another file into a new file and here it is file check 2 and there's the extract and that's all I have now because I called it file check 2 up here and then underscore cause number extract read me whatever you want to call it here you're not limited really by just anything other than your imagination normally I will put the cause number here so I've got file check 2 is my master file which was this file before remember over here I extracted it out and I called it file check 2 2013 extract and it will play either one of those files and you can see here I've got file check to underscore 2013 extract an ECL file there's no WAV files with it because the file check to WAV file will play anything in this file so this is how you're able to uh, use Eclipse and use the audio files and be able to uh, perhaps read files into another file and then be able to listen to the audio the nice thing about doing it this way with the uh, truncating is what we call it is you can edit the file in the master and get it all worked up all 150 pages or whatever you need to do then you can extract that out into a new file put your front pages on your shirt pages or whatever and if you see something at the last minute you need to fix because you've got the truncation there you're still able to hit the audio play here and double check and make sure that you did it correctly and not have to go back over to here play the file okay that's what they said go back over here correct it here you can just listen to it in this file the same as you could in this file and so that's the nice thing about using this truncation feature is uh, when you truncate the file and put like a cause number or whatever but be because you used the first part of the name file check 2 as is called the master down here you will be able to hear the audio which is kind of nice the last thing I would like to stress is before you do any of that make sure that you've taken all of these files and backed them up that you're fixing to use so that if something happens something gets messed up you have them saved somewhere on an external hard drive or if you look in my case I have Google Drive and I have SkyDrive so if I needed to manipulate these files and I was going to mess around with them and I hadn't backed them up yet I can highlight everything here that I want to stuff like that whatever I can copy it control C or you can do a right click copy and I can go over here to my uh, Google Drive and my SkyDrive and put them wherever I need to put them so that I'm good to go. So I hope that helps and uh, with that I will close.